Hello, this is Valu, and uh, before yeah, I start this replay, just a quick word. Uh, I got my new microphone, but I'm not actually using it uh, because for some reason it doesn't work <laughs> really well. Uh, but I thought it was too long since I made the made the last video and. Uh, I tried to find some settings how I could uh, get a better sound quality on my old microphone and I actually found one that as you can clear here nothing there's no static background uh, sound anymore well and that's definitely good improves the overall sound of the video because you can uh, hear my voice clearly and you can hear the um, game sound much better now and uh, I will be making a couple of videos like this until I either get the microphone working or get rid of it I don't care either way but uh, I want to keep making the videos for now and I hope this uh, sound quality is good enough for it uh, and well, let's get on with the video. Uh, as you can see, this is a uh, tier, tier 9 match on the cliff. And um, I'm on my E50, this time with the 10.5 cm uh, gun, the top gun of the E50. I'm platooning with uh, just music for me, or Jasmine for short. And yes, that's a n male name in. Uh, <laughs> in his country Let's and uh, just so you guys know <laughs> uh, I decided to go for the usual medium spot in cliff which is uh, somewhere in the line depending on the situation sometimes it's F6, F5 or if you're fast enough you can go to F3, F4 but I usually in a, in a little in a new 50, which is a little bit uh, slow for a medium, at least when you get up a hill or anything like that. So I decided to go for F4 and get a couple of shots on the enemy mediums that will be going to uh, E4. There they are, there's a Pershing, Pattern and uh, Type 59. I could have, I should have actually shot that Pattern, but I just uh, aimed for the first tank that I could see. And as you can see, clearly I hit this gun mantle there. And I think I hit the Type's uh, target also because I bounced. And just trying to find a shot. So the ground there, unfortunately. Another shot at the tiger. We the Many others are shooting him, so it's nice to get off, rid of one heavy tank as quickly as possible, even if it's in uh, just in tier 7. As you can see, the uh, tiger hit my turret there and bounced. Now I I see a small gap opening here, so I decided to go for uh, F4, so I can uh, get that pattern and pursing who are shooting our guys in C2. I don't care about that. Uh, I think it was Type 69 in the hill. Pershing coming for me, and I get a shot on him before they come. And uh, at this point. The <laughs> I don't know, I heard somebody say once that the armor in the E50 is bad, but I completely disagree. It's great armor for medium. It's uh, very thick for medium tank and you can, because of the good side armor, you can actually angle it. Uh, in the way uh, that you angle an E75 or a Tiger 2. As you can see here, I decide to angle it to the right. Because now the first thing they will shoot is my side armor, and from that angle, there's a good chance that it will bounce. Other part that they can shoot is 
uh, of, because of course they are always trying to shoot my who, which is uh, usually not bad thing to do, but from uh, this angle it might be actually better to shoot the target if I would be aiming directly at them, like I am at the Pershing. Uh, of course, lower blade that should penetrate. It could bounce from where they are shooting, but probably they would penetrate it. From plate, oh no, don't shoot that. There's no weak spots in, in it, and it will bounce. And but if you just look at the angle where they are shooting from, um, yeah. <laughs> Not much to see there from the lower blade, so both of them will shoot and ding ding. Both of them bounced. Another one bounced in the lower blade, as I said. Angling <laughs> works. That was actually from the angle that, that the shot came from. I think that was the uh, pattern. The pattern doesn't have the best gun. I know it by the mark next to his name. I have mode for that. And, but still, it has the same gun as the Pershing. And just look at that. Another T9 shooting out of the T9 medium on the weak spot on his front and bouncing from that distance. It's a good armor on the E50. And now Jasmine is pushing for them. And I'm uh, trying to get a shot on them. Pershing gets my drag on the move. And I just decide to let it repair. They will be concentrating on Sashmin anyway. And here, uh, which one I should be shooting at? Pershing, I had to shoot at. Pattern, easier to shoot at. Pershing is lower at health. But now it's uh, no brainer because Sashmin shot the pattern. He couldn't shoot the Pershing because I was actually on the way. So now they have almost the same health, so I will go for the pattern. After I reloaded, of course. But situation changes again. Pattern is uh, going back. Pershing uh, is tracked in the open, and I will definitely kill him if I penetrate him. So, yep, there he goes. Sashmin shoots the pattern, and now he should be dead after I shoot him. But now there's a type, and but. I can shoot the pattern. Unfortunately, it's a low damage roll and I don't kill him. But I finishes him off. At this point, again, uh, there was a type there. Not so much of a problem for either of us. But I noticed the IS 8. I actually noticed him a little bit earlier, but I was uh, concentrating on the Pershing and pattern. Wanted to get uh, those guys out of the game before I concentrate on anything else. Uh, there's the IS-8, so he's a big threat right now. He can push through the middle and oh, I see it. he's running away. Falling away, I should say. Unfortunately, I can't shoot the IS-8 anymore and... Shot on the VK. And he's almost dead already. He bounces. I kill him. Type 62 is coming for me. I can't really ignore him. So, one shot on him, setting on him on fire. <laughs> Always nice. I'm not sure if I will kill him, I don't remember. Yes, I will. <laughs> now there's the type. He's in a very bad situation right now. As you can see, uh, Jasmine is coming from his back, and I know. What my screen is doing. Okay, now it's gone. Uh, Jasmine is coming from his back, I mean, at his front. And, well, he's, he's going to die. As you can see, the IS-8 that I shot earlier didn't go down, but meant to flank the other heavies. Unfortunately, I can't really do much about that. I could go after him, but the time to get too many free shots on me, and uh, that won't be good. Also, there's an, uh, uh, three heavies and one medium there. I think they should be able to handle him for now. 
even though they will be shot from the back, but really it wouldn't be a good idea to go after him right now. So I will be concentrating on the pipe. Can't shoot him, Re waiting to reload, and now I go for the pipe. <laughs> Just taking a snapshot at him, which I can easily do in this tank. Oh, he's coming for me. I'm gonna try to ram him. And yeah, there he goes. <laughs> I could have shot him, but he just shot a little bit before he tried to come for me and missed, so... Or bounced. I don't remember. Either way, didn't do any damage. I knew he was reloading, he couldn't do any damage to me. So I decided to not waste the shot and just ram him. Because, well, it's fun. And as you can see, uh, the IS-80 is dead, actually killed by T-52, uh, but T-44, I think, did the most damage to him. So now I know the, this, there's nobody left on that flank, two TDs there, and I think I saw E-75 there also. So time to go after them now. Jack Tiger is a very good spot for me to get some shots in his back, but unfortunately, or oh, IS dies before I get to go for him. And oh, there's an Israel 5 crap. Uh, back up. Oh, a CMLE. I can get him, but um, I'd finish him off. So I focus on the Israel 5. That, went sh that shot went through my track here and tracked me and uh, damaged me at the same time. I was at a very bad angle towards him, but I had to get up, so couldn't do anything, right? Really. And I will get one shot on him, like that, and then uh, somebody else kills him, I think. Because, yeah, M41, again. He's just killing everybody that I keep shooting at. Uh, I really wanted to get top gun from here because, well, three enemies here and I had five kills when I started shooting them, but that RT, he just can't let me get my top gun really. He's killed the ACMLE, he's killed the E75, he's killed the Jack Tiger, he's killed the. Bum bum bum. Some. It was the person or the pattern before, and now there's only one already left, and I don't, I won't get him. But never mind. This was a really good battle. A little bit of teamwork there, and using the E75 as a sniper and mobile medium, uh, just. Yeah, the gun, the gun, the gun. It's awesome. <laughs> Just uh, you can get shots like I did on the uh, Type 59. Pick out, shoot, and go back. You don't even have to really stop. Just pick off the shots at the right moment, and they won't have much chance to shoot at you because most of the mediums will need to shoot at you to lo at the lower blade. And uh, they had to aim for that, of course, unless they get lucky. And when you just uh, keep moving fastly and angling, it will make it a very target hard to hit, and you can do very much with this tank. But enough of that, and let's see the results for this battle. And here they are. That's a uh, Ace tanker with 92k credits, 2361 exp, and uh, team score. Yep, that's good. Would be in uh, 1574 exp without a uh, premium account. Five kills. Yeah, always good to see. Detail report. Uh, 21. Yeah. Shots, 19 hits, 17 penetrations, uh, pretty good. 
well, that's actually what you can uh, expect from a tier 9 match, but the damage output is really good. Uh, 6568, yep, nice. Uh, 10 hits received, only 2 of them penetrated, almost steel wall, enemies damage 10, enemies destroyed 5, almost top gun, almost confederate, but neither. Uh, damage upon detecting 1227, that's from the artillery, I think. And uh, 59k profit. That's good for tier 9. Lot of damage, not so many hits received. Equals, lot of profit. Uh, and that would be in 29k without a uh, premium account. And guys, I hope you've been uh, enjoying the video with a little bit better audio quality. Or at least I hope it's been better. Uh, can't really say before I get some feedback on that. but. I enjoyed making a video again, and I will uh, see you guys in the next video.